the way the practice is going to work is essentially you need to go to the chimp enclosure now and sort of space yourselves out around it and get a, start to get a, an idea about the sorts of behaviours you're going to want to record. Okay. Um, we're designing an ethogram to study the behaviour of the chimpanzees. Um, what we're looking for is to see if they have patterning because they're kept in captivity. So we're going to compare their behaviour in the enclosure to chimpanzees in the wild because one of the five freedoms that zoos have to abide by is that all animals must be able to display natural behaviour. So we want to see if they're able to do that in this enclosure. So they've, they've got two techniques essentially that they're looking at, scan sampling and focal watches. And they've got to, uh, over, yeah, like I said, for a, a very short period of time, intensively uh, record what the, the, the animals are doing. Well, they're all here, um, those of them that are doing the focal watch, which is looking at a particular individual, they're going to be, have to sort of uh, be moving around and following the chimpanzees. Those of them that are doing the scan of the whole group, this is probably the best position that they're going to be in to do that, because they can actually see the whole group. Um, I think it's more about practising designing ethograms and uh, observing behaviour, because it's never as simple as you think it's going to be. They, I've tried doing it before and it usually ends up quite complicated because you see behaviours that you, do that you don't expect to see. I'm watching the... Uh, I haven't got his name down yet, but his description is he's balding and got loads of scars. So is that and the kind of old. It's an older man. Okay. He's just sunbathing at the moment, chilling out, hanging about. Well, um, we came here to the zoo to do an animal behaviour study on the chimpanzees, uh, which was very interesting. Um, uh, the difference between uh, the reality and theory of how you're supposed to go about things and then dealing with real animals. All these experiences I've had with uni trips that I would not have done otherwise, so it's all good by me.